You see, what has happened in this country is that for several decades, we have been caught in what I call a debt trap. Not death, debt trap. We have been borrowing from government to government to finance consumption. See, if, I know, if you finance, you borrow to finance consumption, then obviously you cannot grow your economy. And it is regrettable that all the debt that we've piled upon ourselves now has done only two things, to pay salaries and then also to pay other loans that we have contracted. So it means that it is not possible for you to grow. And you continue borrowing to finance consumption and to amortize your existing debt. And there's very little left to invest in capital expenditure. So there's something, we've been running an artificial economy for many years. And that's the problem with our two parties, the NDC and NPP. We have been running an artificial economy for all these years, how is it that over 32 years, each party lands us in the IMF? Both of them, getting to their eighth year, they finish off with the IMF. So what is the basis and the justification for asking for a, an extension of your mandate? Now, so to deal with our debt problem, first, we have to put a cap by legislation on the amount of borrowing that government that, you see it looks like we are joking if you go to the u.s uh, right now i'm sure you hear the news about government is going to shut down government will go to shut down and they they have to negotiate amongst the parties to allow the senate and the house of representatives for government to go beyond the, the threshold for which they can borrow. Now, there's no threshold. There was an artificial attempt to impose a 5% you know, cap on our deficit financing. But the same government goes to parliament to ask for a review of that capping. So it means that we, we have allowed ourselves to be disciplined about borrowing. And because we don't have the right model for development, and we think that government should finance everything, then obviously you would want to borrow to finance everything. And it's not sustainable. And our debt has accumulated to such an extent that I don't want to sound like a prophet of doom. But frankly, if both parties continue in any form or shape, it will be very difficult for us to get out of this debt trap. Thank you.